Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our web development series and so for the past few videos we have been learning about JavaScript right so here we are going to use or learn conditionals okay so before learning conditionals let me tell you like what is the need of conditionals okay suppose suppose you have a train okay or you are the driver of a train that would be like um, more practical right okay and there are basically two parts and this is your train okay now uh, what would happen you uh, have like two you know paths here either you can go to this path or either you can go to this path and it all depends on some condition okay suppose if there is no blockage here okay If there is no blockage, you will go through this direction. Or if there is a blockage, you will go through this direction. Okay. So, you know, to evaluate these conditions, we use the keyword if and we use the keyword else. And there is another keyword called else if. Okay, so this is in programming language is called control flow. So you know we are essentially you know controlling the flow of program like how it would go or like how it would proceed. All right, so let's go to our index.js. Let's increase the size and here let's code something. Let's say var score is equal to let's say suppose it's zero for now now you have or you have two conditions if the student scores more than 33 you will print pass otherwise you will print not pass fail okay so i told you how you write the conditions let me show you if then inside the round brackets you write the condition condition is score greater than let's say 40 then you open these curly braces and inside this you perform some action this is called a code block and inside this like this code block will be executed if your condition is true you will do, you will do console dot log uh, pass okay else console dot log All right, if I save it and if I run it, fail because our score is zero right now. Suppose it's 55, then what? It's pass. Okay, great. Now we also talked about something called else if. Now to perform else if, there is something we need to talk about first. Okay. So there are basically you know comparators or compared um, what should I say symbols which has greater or than or less than or three cosines which are known in programming as comparators because they allow us to compare two different values. Okay, I'll just remove this code from here. Let me show you. This means is equal to. Okay. This means is not equal to. These are the comparators which we use to compare the values. Here uh, is greater than is less than. 
इज ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू इज लेस दैन और इक्वल टू ओके ग्रेट नाउ अदर दैन दीज देर इज वन मोर डबल इक्वल टू नो दिस इज ऑल्सो यू नो टू कंपेयर वेदर द थिंग इज इक्वल टू अ नॉट बट ओके लेट्स टू वन थिंग लेट्स हैव वैर ए एज वन वैर बी एज वन इफ ए इज इक्वल लेट्स यूज अ ट्रिपल साइन लेट्स हैव अ कॉन्सोल डॉट लॉग ऑफ लेट्स ए रू else console dot log you will say false all right now if i run it it's saying false okay but if i do this and if i run it it's a 2 see the value is same but the type of a and type of b is different so the double equal to sign doesn't check that but triple equal to signs does check that okay so that is one difference and like it is asked many times in the interview so keep a check on that now there is uh, something called combining the op uh, comparators suppose i have a score greater than 90 then i want to print the result as a plus if the score is between 80 and 90 i have to print a so how to do that exactly let's let's learn about that thing so for that we have two things we combine these comparators so comparators like we combine these with the this this means statement 1 is true as well as statement 2 is true if these both statements are true then that block of code would be executed otherwise if any of that is false it would not be executed similarly this is or that means either one is true if either one of them is true we'll um, you know print this thing or we'll execute the code block now whatever we have learned let's try and implement it let's say if score is greater than 90 we'll have console dot log a plus now we can have another uh, nice see if i want score it between 80 and 90 and i want other conditions as well so i cannot use else here okay so for that case we use else i can write if score is less than 90 and and score is greater than 80 like both these conditions should be true okay if both of these conditions are true then only this makes sense okay i'll say console dot log b plus a sorry a let's not decrease the grade by too much so it's say similarly let's say okay let's say if you have not scored above 80 you all would get a grade let's call it c everyone would get a grade c not fail not anything now if i try to run it the grade is c because score is 55 if i put the score as 82 if i save it let's just tick okay now let's see what the terminal would show us hmm taking a bit time a what if the score is 99 hmm a plus okay great so you understood how we control the flow of 
program with the help of if else if else statements and then we also learned about the comparators and how we can combine the comparators using and and with statement both statements should be true and all that means either one is true then the code would be executed so i guess this was like a very helpful lecture for you and you understood everything we uh, talked about here if not if there is any doubt to you you may ask it in the comment section and you can also like rewatch the video to understand it better okay so thank you for watching this video and see you later